tayo ng masaral Sa mas walang maiiwan At sayang magtaral tayo ng mas tuto Upang ikaw yung asenso Maging matyaga, maging matalino Halina mataral na tayo I'm Teacher Erna Bamboa of High Wheels Integrated School. I'm on task to discuss with you the topic on probability. Mga batang mandunong, welcome to Project SOAR! Objectives describe the meaning of probability success 50% chance of rain and 1 million chance of winning. That's up number 2. Perform experiments and records of That's up lesson 1. Concepts of probability. Let's review or recall. Determine if the decimals are fractions even or closer to 0, closer to 1. Using the number, write zero. If the given is closer to zero and one closer to one. So let's have below the probability line, we, have, we started from zero, one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths. That's sub number one. One tenth is nearest to what children? What's your answer? Correct. That's sub number two. Seven tenths. Seven tenths is nearest to what? What's your answer? Very good. The seven tenths is nearest to one. Rather than nearest to zero. Number three. Eight tenths. Is nearest to what, children? What's your answer? Very good. As you can see from the uh, probability line, 8 tenths is nearest to 1. And number 4, 2 tenths. Is 2 tenths is nearest to 0 or 1, children? What's your answer? Very good. Let's go to the next. Let's understand to study the concept. Probability is the chance that something will happen. It can be measured like the person's chance, rain, or sometimes words such as impossible, unlikely, even chance, likely, and certain are used. The idea of probability on how likely and unlikely an event is to happen can be used in predicting an outcome. The probability line will guide you in identifying the chance of the event in happening. Probability can be expressed in decimals, fractions, and percent. Example, fraction. Probability line, zero is impossible, unlikely is one-fourth, even chance is one-half, Likely is three fourths and certain is one. The event that is certain has a probability of one or hundred percent. An event that is impossible to happen has a probability of zero. If there is a chance that an event will happen, the probability is between zero and one. An event that is likely to happen has the probability of between one half and one. The event is unlikely to happen if the probability is between 0 and 1 half. Example 2 Using decimal numbers 
probability line. Under probability line, you have started from 0, 1 tenth, 1 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths, 9 tenths, and 1. So, 0 impossible, then 50 50, then certain. An event that has a probability of zero means that the event is impossible to happen. And an event that is probability of one is certain. Some for three, using percent. Probability line, you have tuna and chicken. You started from zero percent, twenty-five percent, fifty percent, seventy-five percent and 100%. As you can see, tuna is 0% to 25%, chicken from 50% to 100%. This means that the chance of getting an order of chicken sandwich is more than the chance of getting an order of a tuna sandwich. The theoretical probability for each outcome is 1 out of 3 or 3, 33 and 1 Remember this, children. Probability can describe if an event is impossible, unlikely, equal likely, likely, or certain. Probability can be expressed in fraction, decimal, and percent. Let's analyze. Let's have some enrichment activity. Use the probability line to express to answer the questions below, right or letter only. A represents impossible, B represents unlikely to happen, C represents even chance for 50, 50 or 100. Likely to happen, D that is three fourths, nearest to happen, then E certain, one. Absolutely to happen. Let's start. Remember the letters. Then A impossible, B unlikely to happen, C even chance, D likely to happen, E certain. May I start with number one? Listen class. Tomorrow the sun will rise in the west. What is your answer class? Remember tomorrow the sun will rise in the in the west. Post your answer. A. Correct answer is A. Very good. Why? Because the sun rises in the east, not in the west. That's up number two. If a coin is tossed, it will land heads up. Let us see. What is your answer, class? Have you experienced tossing a coin? Very good. Let us see. What is your answer? Letter C, even chance. That means 50 50. It may be head, it may be not. Very good. Next, number three. Today is Saturday. The day after tomorrow is Monday. What is your answer? Let us see, class. E. E is certain or correct. Why? Today is Saturday, after the Saturday is Sunday. So after the Sunday is Monday. That's why the answer is certain or correct. Next number four. When you roll a die, you get an even number. What are those even numbers? Two, four, six, eight, ten, and so on and so forth. Have you experienced rolling a die? Let us see what is your answer. D, likely to happen, that means three fourths, almost. Number five, a letter is chosen at random for, from the letters of the alphabet. What is the probability that the letter is a vowel? The member class have only five vowel letters and 26 letters from the alphabet. What are those uh, vowel letters? A, E, I, O, 
to do. So what is the chance of choosing or picking vowel letter? Let us see. What's your answer, class? B. Unlikely to happen. Why? Because from 26 letters, you may not pick one vowel letter. Good children. Let's go to lesson two. Performs experiment and records of a probability experiment is a test in which several trials are made to measure the chance of an event that will occur. The results from an experiment may lead to predicting the chance of an event on the next trial. Here's the formula. Experimental probability is equal to number of times the events occur total over total number of trials. Here are some examples. Mr. Manalo has a bag of tennis balls. There are three green balls, two white balls, and one yellow ball. He's going to pick tennis ball at random. What is the probability of picking a green tennis ball? Solution. Probability is equal to number of favorable outcomes over number of possible outcomes or divide by possible outcomes. Number two. There are six possible outcomes because there are six balls. Three of the outcomes are favorable because there are three green tennis balls. What is the probability of picking a red tennis ball? Solution. Since there is no red tennis ball in the bag, the number of favorable outcome is zero. What is the probability of not picking a white tennis ball? Solution. Since four tennis balls are not white, there are four possible favorable outcomes. B not white or possibility not white is equal to 4, 6, or 2 thirds. What is the probability of picking white, yellow, or green tennis ball? Since every one of the tennis balls will be either white, yellow, or green, then the number of favorable outcomes is exactly the same as that the number of possible outcomes. Possibility or probabilities is white, yellow, green is equal to 6 over 6 or 1 because 6 divided by 6 is the lowest term. Let's apply. So answer some exercises. Study the problem and answer the following questions. Experiment from a pile of diamonds, hearts, gloves, and spades, spades cards. Draw one card. Record the results in the tally column. Return the card to the pile and reshuffle them. Repeat the process 50 times and complete the table. The sample space in the experiments are diamonds, cards, gloves, and spades. Write the result in the table below. Here is the possible result of the experiment. Compare this with your result. Outcomes Diamonds, hearts, clubs, spades. Tally of outcomes. Then frequency. So in diamonds, there are 17. For hearts, there are 13. For clubs, there are 8. For spades, there are 12. So the total is 15. Frequency is the number of trials in which outcomes occur. So the total is 50. The experiment showed that 15, 17 I mean, out of 50 drawn cards are diamonds. As you can see from the tally or tally board. The experiment said the probability is 17 over 50 or 34%. 
Remember, experimental probability of an event is the ratio of the number of times the activity is performed. We can find the probability of an event by doing an experiment. When we do this, we are finding experimental probability. Formula, experimental probability or event is equal to number of times favorable outcomes of course over total number of trials in the experiment or divide by the total number of trials in the experiment. all parents and students thank you so much for sharing your time god bless everyone